So this month's video is going to be something completely different than what I planned. I had originally planned to make a couple of outfits from my favorite video game, but that's not working out. So I'm going to pull something from my stash of random projects that I wanted to work on for years and just do it. And then I don't have to worry about it again. And guess what? It's not a green dress this month. I've had this fabric for this, this dress sitting in my stash since 2016 probably. I bought the fabric from Joann's when I worked there. I loved it, it was beautiful and it was just so, like, it was so regal. This fabric is it's so pretty. Look at all the pretty flowers. It looks kind of black in the picture, but in the video, but it's, it's purple guys. Like, so it's like a really dark purple with a bunch of flowers on it and it's more of a autumn dress, autumn colors. Yes, my tongue is blue, I'm sorry. But I've been wanting to make this for years. I don't even, have I washed this? That's a big question. I don't, I haven't even washed this yet. And that's a big mark of if I'm going to make a project, I wash the fabric. So I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make this. Another dress. I guess I just don't have enough dresses in my closet, but here we go. Because I really want this to fit. I want it to be an everyday dress that I can wear when I go to work, if I want to go to the store. It's not fancy, it's not work attire, but it's, it's a nice everyday dress I can throw on. I really have to be careful about this bodice. I picked the biggest bodice that is in this pattern because this pattern actually calls for a, a B, C or a D cup and the bodice is adjusted to those measurements. I can guarantee you that the D cup, the largest one, is not going to fit me, but I'm going to try and I want to see how close it fits and if I just need to adjust it. And I'm just going to have to tweak it and tweak it and tweak it and tweak it and tweak it until it fits in the meantime. And I'm just going to start cutting that out and I'll be using this type of fabric but this fabric needs to be clean, so I'm going to also in the washing machine and let it soften up. Make sure that if it needs to shrink, it shrinks. And then I'll have a better idea of what I'm working with because it's five yards. That's plenty of fabric. That will give me everything I need and more for this dress. There is a belt pattern in here. It may end up being made out of something else if I have a contrasting gold fabric or a purple fabric that's pretty because I cannot guarantee that, that I will have enough at the end for it. So that's going to be my very last thing that I work on if I do it. I also don't know if I have enough interfacing. It also suggests I... It's not a tie belt. It is a belt belt that requires the buckle. So that might have to be something I order because I can tell you right now Joanne's is not going to have that one and I'm probably going to want to be adventurous and cover it in the fabric because even though it's not it gives me kind of vintage homemaker vibes like if I put a petticoat under this it would probably be fabulous but we're going to see right now I'm going to focus on cleaning this and working on the mock-up of the bodice skirt Skirt, 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 is a skirt, is a skirt, is a skirt. So I'm not worried about that. I'm just want to make sure this bodice fits, especially since it's cotton. It's going to hug everything, and it's going to show any tightness, any areas that don't fit me right. So I'm gonna work on that real quick. I'm not gonna do the collar. I'm not gonna do the facings. I'm just gonna do the front and the back of the bodice. Sew them together. Put it on. See where it needs to be fixed and sat, and tweak it as much as possible. I'm not excited. <laughs>
I have my mock-up for the dress made. I'm gonna try it out just real quick. So the torso is too long for me. As you can see, this very definite line. This ends about an inch, inch and a half too long, so I would have to bring that down, which is kind of annoying. The chest does not fit, I'm not surprised, but I needed to look at this. Let's see where this dart is. I think I just need to take the piece, the pattern piece, and make the next size up because fit here. This overlaps fine. The neck, I don't need to adjust. This is a little, the shoulder seam here, this is the side. Armhole seems fine. This actually isn't bad. It's just not quite big enough for my bust. But let's look back real quick. Let's see. Same problem. This is a little too long. This piece needs to be adjusted for my larger bust line. Let me uh, quickly adjust that. This is the old one. I just want to show you guys the difference. I'm going to go ahead and tuck this into my jeans so you guys can see. Maybe if I can get everything tucked in. So this median crosses exactly where the median line is. It's supposed to go a little further over because there's supposed to be buttons. You can see this is like very, like there is practically no room. And so there's, it's just a little tight. So this is the fixed one. It goes a little over my median line like it's supposed to. That slope is really nice. And I made this side bigger. So I went ahead and made a new piece basically. And instead of adjusting the entire pattern a whole size bigger, I just did, oh, great. Okay. I made the dart and the side here. I made it bigger instead. So we have a new piece. And it fits nicely with the side. I am going to have to adjust the bottom because this is too long now. And I did measure the dart. The dart is correct. I drew a line. I was correct. This is, this is perfect. But I can go ahead on my mock up here cut these and make these my pieces and cut my fabric out of this and then have the back. The back is okay, but I want to cut it where I need it to sit because the skirt is, it's like, I forget what the name of it's called, but I want to say it's called like a tissue skirt where it's like you took a napkin, hold it up in the center, cut the skirt out and you have these lovely cute points. So.
All right, so it's done. I actually wore it out twice. I got to wear it out when my husband and I went to go antique shopping and then later that same day we went and had pizza and it survived. And I did make it somewhere. Oh, it's here. Maybe I'll put with little D-rings and it's just really simple. I really think I should have been a piece that didn't have the selvage self edge in it because it still pokes out and it's not as cute. But I ain't mad, guys. This is something I will genuinely wear as an everyday dress. So if I go out with my husband or a friend, it's, it's so cute and I'm not gonna lie, I, it gives me that everyday vintage vibe and I really love it. Uh, wearing it out in kind of the summer heat of Texas thus far, it's very breathable. I actually didn't have to wear a slip underneath it because it's not see-through at all. It's very breezy, it's a good length, I don't feel claustrophobic in it and it fits me so well. I was a little worried when I originally made it that the bodice wasn't going to fit but I, I managed to find a hack and I got it all fixed. It's super cute and I finally have some purple in my closet and it's not a green dress this time. For a McCall's pattern that I've had for ages, I'm really happy with it. I have been wanting to make this dress for so long and I finally have it and I can wear it and I'm probably gonna wear it when I work on my next project because I do have to go back out antiquing. Oh no, what was me? I, but I do have to go back out and get stuff for my next project. So I'll probably wear this because it is so comfortable and so much fun. I just, I guys, I'm in love and this is probably the best work I've ever done. I've never had a, a piece that I've made fit me so well and just seamlessly go in my closet. So I'm actually gonna probably hang this one up. It's not a cosplay, it's just an everyday dress and I really enjoyed making it. I really did. Now, if you like this video, please feel free to subscribe and like it down below. Um, I'm going to be posting more stuff on TikTok as well as Instagram for you guys to see because I'm working on more smaller projects. I'm actually gonna be replicating this top really soon so I will link TikTok down below. A big thank you to Scott Holmes Music for allowing me to have these beautiful soundtracks that go in the back of my videos. All rights of course go to them. Um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy and if you uh, want to see more head down to my Instagram and my TikTok for more. Bye! That is a lot of peacock feathers. Like that's just an exorbitant amount of big It's really pretty. How much is that? 175. Blue. Uh. <laughs> I'm thinking no.